okay so today we will see families okay how to create families and all mm -hmm. so we okay. have furniture na so simple furnitures like that like i will tell you how to create so you will get an idea okay so for that like we need to start with family new not model new mm -hmm. family new i get okay so here Ah, okay, okay. okay and uh, here we can select what uh, we are going to uh, do with okay because uh, here it is coming by default for you like you are telling this role things not installed but try to create a new family then tell me mm. whether you are getting this things or not okay mm. so now i am going for furniture and i am going to click open you can see this is like a dot rft okay it is like a family template mm -hmm. file once you open mm -hmm. once you save as then it will become dot rfe okay so the family file extension is dot rfe the family that uh, template is dot rft okay mm -hmm. normal revit file dot rvt right mm -hmm. okay so whenever you open a family file like this you will get a right view front view 3d view reference level everything opened also by default you can see that in the project browser also and you can see the options here is totally different what we have in architecture revit okay this is for family that's why the options here it is different and these extrusion right. blend everything also we have discussed na little in massing itself mm. okay now what i'm going to do means like i'm going to just uh, draw a reference uh, line okay so just to draw a reference line okay this is just a reference line only okay okay just a minute this is but reference plane okay okay so better we will go with the reference line okay i'm just randomly drawing okay mm. okay but like what we can do is like um, here you go for annotate and go for align just click here so you just like you just put like this okay not only single so like this continuously okay mm -hmm. when you can put equal then only it will become equal so that's what i was expecting here also you can put equal okay mm -hmm. then uh, what we can do is like uh, when you click this one and label here uh, okay so here you can see when you click that one this is showing the equality text otherwise like you can put value okay so okay. that the value here it will be come okay so click this and you can see the equality text or value okay if you are putting value like uh, it is coming like this okay okay uh, so but uh, if you want to put that into particular sizes what we can do is like uh, so you can go to family types okay here we have only default elevation right we can create our own uh, parameter so click a new parameter then you put uh, with okay so type you select and this is co common only but uh, we can consider this as a yeah this is a length only okay the dimension group parameter under dimension click okay okay so width and also i am creating another uh, parameter for length okay that is also we can consider length and dimension 
this is also common click okay okay so click uh, elevate uh, length of uh, two feet width of four feet or both the four feet and elevation of uh, four feet like this this is all the uh, default value click ok okay then you can select this one and you can go here and you can select what we created here it is coming length or width i just uh, take this as a length okay then i just select this one and go here it will select width okay okay now what we can do means like i am going for a family types then we will try to change the uh, these things so two and two because of the equality constraints okay because of the equality constraint so what we can do is just uh, delete the equal uh, that symbol directly you can annotate okay then these things now you can directly just select length or width okay this is the length okay and this is the width okay now you can just go to family types and you can just change it four and four we will see whether it is working or not okay it was working but uh, my intention is not to disturb the reference lines also okay so what for that like what we can do okay the thing is like what we can do means like uh, if you are doing like this like it is uh, moving from the uh, place now so what we can do means like uh, the equality constraints we must have but apart from that we, we need to have another one okay go to annotate just uh, take the equality thing first so click equal and uh, this also just uh, select and then put equal okay now what we can do is like again you can just select select it so that like uh, we will have both so that it will not move from this place okay so select this and then now you can put the label as length then uh, you can put the width okay now we will try to change the things phi cross phi so can you see that like now it is not uh, getting out of that particular place okay okay now with this like uh, we can start uh, doing the objects okay now the parameters is working okay and also like we should go to the uh, elevation so you, you already have friend right so friend like uh, what we will do is like we will just create a another uh, reference line or reference plane okay this reference plane like um, you can just put a, so just a top this is the top reference plane when you click that you can see the name so what i'm going to do means like uh, you can just uh, click like this so the temporary dimension will become permanent dimension if you click that option now you can just select the default elevation okay now we will try the elevation also whether it is changing or not so elevation of four feet click okay can you see it is changing correctly so ensure whether this thing's changing correct or not then what we can do is go to reference uh, level okay now like uh, i am going for a create uh, extrusion so select uh, this box then uh, you just uh, click like this okay and you can just lock it if you're not locking then the parameters it will not be taken care so you can put uh, the depth as uh, three inches then click it okay now you can see the 3d view how it came okay okay this we locked it but what we can do means like uh, you can so go to front view and uh, you need to just uh, go here and you need to lock here then 
you can uh, see how much it is showing here it is like uh, extrusion end uh, four feet now what i can do is like i can start from uh, 3.75 so to four so you can see this is what we need okay so that i changed it from uh, properties okay you can see the 3d view now it was like elevated okay now at the same time like now we can just go for create a, uh like go to extrusion but we are going to create a circle so this is like a three inches then uh, you can uh, use a mirror this option again like uh, select uh, and then just uh, mirror it then you just uh, uh can finish but finish it then see the front view this also like you can able to put uh, the top okay now like uh, we have something like this okay then what we can do means like uh, when you just put like this now you can lock that one so that position will be locked okay now you can see the 3d view so you can put st to share you see the shaded view okay now we did a very basic um, uh, table thing okay okay now like uh, i will go to the family type okay now i will try to change the things okay we will see whether it is uh, working correct or not 8 cross 8 cross 3 feet click okay can you see it was just working okay but you know like uh, this one we not locked now so it is not going uh, uh, according to the size okay so i will put control is there now what i will do means like i will go to reference plane and click this one and i can go for edit extrusion okay okay this also like uh, what we can do means like uh, then for this also we must have reference line then we need to log according to it then only it will be okay okay so otherwise like it will not okay so what i will do means like uh, otherwise like uh, we will have offset here offset offset of uh, maybe two inches uh, two inches is very less we can go for four inches okay again like uh, four inches everywhere okay now i'm just deleting uh, that one was wrong now i will delete this one so what we can do means like uh, we will draw here okay so just go to extrusion okay and then for easy purpose for, for to know what we are doing just to do like this then you can just uh, put lock everywhere then only it will be there otherwise it will not be there that's why locking is essential so click uh, so click so just to lock everywhere so that's why reference line is important okay So click OK. Okay, now like you can see the print view. So then you can just uh, put like this. Then you can lock that one. Okay. 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 Now what we can do is go to 3D view. Now this is what the table. Okay. Now what we can do is like I will try to change it. We will see whether it is coming correctly or not. Height of uh, five feet, eight and eight. Click OK. Can you see it is also going accordingly okay mm -hmm. but uh, the top uh, it was not coming correct because we not locked it okay so control is that go to front view okay so just uh, you need to Okay, it's in front view, right? Why it was coming strange? Yes, 
see you can see okay and you need to just uh, lock the position also this is like a default derivation Okay, there is something wrong with this. Okay, so what we is go to reference level. It was correct. Okay, but we need to draw it correctly again. Okay. Create extrusion. Okay, so just okay, then. So go to front view. Now you can just drag it, then lock it. No problem. But why here it was just like this? Just a minute, two two point five and uh, uh, okay. But we must have here also equal. Uh, okay, that annotate. This was correct. This now, no, okay. Ah, okay, okay. It was actually correct because of this. It was looking weird. Okay, it was correct only. Okay, now like you can see, it was uh, locked. Okay. This is like a plane not associated, it is coming, okay. So edit work plane, uh, it is just showing, uh, I can put top. Then you can see, uh, it was just going like this, okay. I can just put zero, n, three. Okay, so here we can put a three inches like that. Okay, now like we have something. Okay, now like I will try to edit. So eight cross four cross five. Yeah, now it was correct. Okay, everything is a. Uh, what I expected, okay. But this one, like I will just uh, try to put like this, uh, remove constraint. Uh, no, no, if you are just doing so, it was going away, right? Uh, just to select only this one. Okay, just uh, uh, you can bring it. Okay. 
cancel cancel that top one should not be disturbed okay so you can see here it was like this right uh, when you're just moving the, these things also moving okay. Ah, okay, it was okay. Now it was correct, right? Okay. Now go to. Okay. Now, like, if it is like four, two, three, click OK. Ah, okay. So this is what I was expecting. Now everything is working correct. So, whatever the value we are putting here, that we are expecting the same thing. For example, four, uh, eight, cross five, click OK. Okay, the mechanical dynamic view, Mary. Ah, no, but but mm -hmm. here, like, uh, see, again, we have a problem, so that we need to lock also. Okay, so what we can do is like, see, now we are getting some mess, right? So, what we can do is like create a parameter, uh, similar to dynamic block only, but here it was different, it, it is a uh, in a 3D, okay? So, like, uh, now mm -hmm. I can put a thickness of uh, legs. Okay, again click OK. Okay, thickness of flick uh, by default, like I will put a uh, four inches. Okay, now what we can do is like uh, go to annotate, align. Okay. Okay, now like uh, I will just uh, put uh, everything to thickness of legs. Okay, now we will see the 3D view. Okay, now everywhere we are having everything. So go to edit type. So thickness, I will put um, three inches, but here I will put five feet, cross eight feet, cross four feet. Constraints are not satisfied. Can't make extrusion. Base sketch for extrusion is invalid. Okay, because like uh, we should not give many things there. Okay, just a minute. Mm, that one right control is there. Okay. Okay, now we will see the three D view. Mm, edit type, uh, family type. Then like uh, three inches, click OK. Uh, it was just, yeah, yeah it was just uh, taking there. Okay, but here like we must also put, uh, it was taking there, right? Now again, like you need to annotate here. Just taking three inches. Uh, so, so whatever it's not taken that you just uh, put again. Okay. So this two also, like uh, I will put back to the thickness of legs. Okay, so now we can see the 3D view. Now I can go to, so three inches. Click. So three inches, sir. Okay. Uh, now it was correct. Okay, like this, like uh, we can do. Now you can go to family type. See, I will put uh, different values. Okay, now I can put uh, five inches, click OK. Uh, so now totally we completed what we expected. Okay, now what we can do is like a uh, file. You can go for save as, go to family. Mm -hmm. Save file, I will save in your folder itself. Like uh, basic uh, furniture, and then you can see dot RFA save it. Okay, now we saved it. No need to worry. Like we can reuse that for any project. Okay. Apart from that, like if you want material, you can also put the material here by category. Now you can click that material.
so you can just click this uh, library uh, asset browser it was go to asset browser where you can find many uh, materials okay wood or something uh, yeah so for example no, wood can you go for wood glass units what glass glass yeah yeah we can also have glass but now we will go for wood alone like wood you can see many wood is there see for example if i'm just taking the cherry just double click uh, it was locked uh, okay which means like it was locked in the sense like um, replace the current asset in the okay ah it was coming yeah cherry you can take right uh, then you can apply then click okay okay now you can see that one is like uh, shaded but when you uh, it was like uh, ah no it was taken air opening material just click this uh, this one for air opening okay so we just uh, we need to create a new thing right uh, uh, so what we can do is we can undo it control is that Okay, so now you can just click it. Now you can select the category, which means material. Now you you can search here itself any wood material coming or not. Yeah, so there you can search directly and you can take for example cherry. Okay, I can just put a uh, render appearance. Click OK. Time to kill No, no. see now we got that one now for this so i can just go to material and again like you can search wood so it will come automatically so for example if you want uh, so mahogany so that you can just put that up arrow so that it will go there and you can click okay okay but why it was not uh, showing in the shaded view because i was not selected that so put render appearance and you can choose color uh, it was coming by default some color so now we also apply the materials so that by default this materials will be there but we can also like uh, change the materials once you put into the project now again mm -hmm. i'm saving it now what i will do means like uh, i can just uh, um create a new project not family so construction template architectural template click okay okay so for the sake of things like i will just have some walls level 2 <clears throat> okay okay then now so i will take a floor okay better just use tab so that you will get if it is like rectangle or close to loop now like uh, what we can do is like cm cm for component right uh, where we can able to load family then we can just to take the family we created okay normally we can do like that otherwise like we can just go here because it was open i not closed it so directly load into project and you can close also directly load into project and close also it's a good thing now like you can just place wherever you want okay now like uh, oh, okay so we need to see the uh, 3 uh, 3d view of this one uh okay actually the uh, the reference plane uh, it was like uh, offset from uh, okay so that one you can put zero uh, okay that one we can change also now you can see in the level 1 also okay now this one like when you click now you can see offset from host that also we can put elevation 
from level and all these things you can use and apart from that edit type and you can also change this one for example default elevation 4 but here i am just going for a 8 uh, but here i am going for 4 but here i am going for 3 inches click ok now accordingly like you will get the furniture so this is something good like this only like they are creating the furniture okay okay so this is what the family okay now i am going for a camera so just go like this you can see the shaded view okay okay then if you want to level the camera in a, another uh, thing like uh, you can go here uh, select this, then only it will show there. Okay. Okay. Goes like this, right? Okay. I just move that. So you can see the, uh, this is what I was expecting. So totally you can see. Okay. Now, like when you render, like you will get the materials also. With this very simple family creation, like this, like we can sit and work with. So no need to waste our time. So better we can download the families from Revit City or some online websites. Okay, now you know oh. the concept behind it. Mm -hmm. Now, like you can click here and you can also uh, go for edit type. So where you can also change the material, but we not have a material uh, uh, parameter. So you need to put the parameter. Otherwise, only you need to go to edit family and where you can change the material. Okay, so otherwise, what I can do is like mm -hmm. uh, go to here. Okay. So when you click this, then it is just showing the material and finish, right? Then you click here, associate family parameter. So none, right? Okay, what we can do is we can create a new one. So just click it, uh, create. Okay, now I am going to put a uh, top uh, material. And then uh, material finishes, click OK. Click OK. Okay, so hereafter we can change it. Now I am also just clicking this one. So here I am just clicking here. So create a new one. Uh, Lex material. So automatically taking, uh, okay, click OK, click OK. Now like uh, uh, save it. Okay, now load into project. Okay, override the existing version. Hmm. Now you can go to the 3D view. Now like uh, you can click and we can change the materials also, but it will come under edit type. See, here the material also coming. Now here after we can change the material, whatever we want. For example, if you don't want uh, uh, legs mahogany, for that also we can put up. Uh, See something like this. Click OK. So that material, it will change. Can you see that? Yeah. So now we also have that uh, parameter in the edit type. Okay. Okay. So this is what the family creation and loading into the project. Are you okay with it? Yeah. Bye.